Now, before I talk about how my business is spreading the growth of this country, firstly, I would like to say this is Pigeon Radio and Pigeon Radio is a digital radio which you guys know as an online radio. I know like four years back when we started like 2016, a whole lot of people said, you know, digital is not going to take over. This is 2020 and now digital is now what everybody is looking at. Pigeon Radio has been here for four years and we are able to contribute to the economy like creating jobs for the younger ones that are coming. You know, a whole lot of younger ones want to be an OAP, want to work in the radio industry, but there's no opportunity, you know, the number terrestrial places crowded but now with the digital world having a digital radio you're able to we're able to create jobs for these younger ones i feel that is one of the major parts which nigeria is lacking because every year you see graduate graduating from schools every year university no jobs no jobs like in a year you can see different types of graduate gradu graduating from schools and there's no job nowhere to go a whole lot of them are just indoor not doing anything but with this we're able to create more jobs and in nigeria the the high rate of unemployment is much now another thing we're able to do is advertise for business guys like now the what is digital like an example i have to give is during the covid 19 everybody was on digital level and it, it helped us because thousands of people or millions of people were at home on their phone laptop so we're able to get to them and now the economy has gone globally from standing here alone you can listen to the radio anywhere in the world and from this radio we're able to advertise to people all over the globe before you can't even like i will use it, the normal radio stations if you're in lagos you understand that you can't listen to lagos station aside lagos you can only listen to lagos station in lagos and that was what digital radio has been able to remove like now nah, anywhere in the world you can listen to digital radio anywhere around the globe you can pay in a bad on and your business is being advertised to someone in us nigerians are all over the world most of what we are trying to do is to connect nigerians to the roots so when people ask me how has this business been able to affect the nation and i say we are creating jobs and at the same time we are connecting the nigerians all over the world to the roots because a whole lot of people have been brought up as a Nigerian diaspora but with this and it's a pidgin radio and they can able to understand this pidgin english and you should understand that pidgin english you know something that's been licensed right now you can check pidgin english on uh, Oxford dictionary so we are connecting nigerians in diaspora to the roots apart from the laid down policy i would say first thing the business is lacking it like what's affecting the business is internet now you should understand that in nigeria this part of the world we are data is a problem and so many, a whole lot of people will tell you, oh, why do I want to listen to internet radio? I don't have data. I can't waste my data. That is one thing that's affecting the business. Now you talk about electricity. You know, you have to run generator for 24 hours. Now you look at running all these expenses. How much are you earning? The solution to all these problems, firstly, internet data have to be cheap. The first thing to make this business grow is that they need to be a cheaper rate of purchasing internet i read it that nigeria is one of the country paying high for internet which is not supposed to be if there's a low data like you purchasing a data maybe like with your 10 era you can have a data this business is going to grow because the lower the data the higher the streaming the higher percentage of those that stream internet than nigerians in diaspora because you know they have good internet so if the data the data rate is okay in this country then i believe this business is going to grow. So the new Nigeria I would love to see is, I remember those days, there was free education, free food. Most of our fathers went free education. Their school fees were paid by the government. But now, how many people have, are, are, are their school fees being paid? So I would love to see whereby there will be free education, free food for the kids. We need good security and everything should just work out fine. We are a creative mind can work perfectly where you can have an idea the environment will accomplish whatever you are thinking you know where a creative guy can just say okay i have this idea and everybody will connect to the idea not where you have an idea and the government is waiting for you to bring out the idea and they bring out policy that will kill the idea now what we want is when you have an idea and instantly the government should support the idea of whatever you want to do whatever business you want to do creating a good environment for business young people like us you know to make it in this business my name is Ovie Oswale I'm the CEO of Pigeon Radio and I would like to say I stand with the Nigerian Jew.